So I found this adorable little hulk flack at the dollar store, and I thought it would be fun to customize it and make it cute and keep it in my background. Let's get into it. So here I am sketching out my design, or my idea. So my idea is to make a little kitten holding an ice cream cone, and the ice cream cone has caramel sauce and a little tammy on top. And the kitten is so excited to be eating it because it's ice cream, and why wouldn't you be excited? It's ice cream! And there are going to be some things floating in the background, dairies, cupcakes, some strawberries milkshake, you know, that kind of stuff. And if you notice the little stuffed animal in the um, frame, that's because I wanted a model so I could see all I make so it looked like an actual cat instead of a fox or a giraffe or something. I don't know. But that's why it's there. So bringing in the empty palette and mixing all of the colors, making a light pink for the ice cream, purple because you need purple, uh, mixing the nice blue because, you know, blue, and it's, it's pretty. Then uh, I mixed a nice cone color, took me a little bit to figure it out, but finally I got one that I was happy with. Then I added a dark gray and a slightly lighter gray for the cat's fur. There I am doing that. And then I'm making a nice pastel green as well. For, I can't remember what I used it for, but I used it for something. And then I used my metallics and used other colors because I ran out of space. And then I started painting.
So I added a little uh, slight bit of white around the paws so you could see them while it's because you know both kittens holding the ice cream you want to be able to tell the paws apart from the fur and that's why they're a little like this. I tried to add them everywhere a little bit like in other places too so it wouldn't look too out of place because you know cats can have white fur too you know and that's why I'm So while I was adding the purple border around the outside of the hall, I realized that I sort of sanded it first, but we didn't have sandpaper, so I didn't know that, because um, it was looking a bit scratchy on one side, and that bothered me. I still do like it, but it slightly bothers me. So here's what it looks like. The cookie got a little small. It's, you can still tell it's a cookie, right? You can tell it's a cookie. Right? Right? Either way, I think it came out pretty cute. Uh, although the chocolate drizzle does kind of look like another scoop of ice cream. That's still tasty. Whether it's drizzle or ice cream, it's delicious. It's something tasty on top of more ice cream. So, and it looks so cute. Where's my cookie? Yeah, so it lives there now. Thanks for watching. Bye.